Hey, it's Erin from Bookings and Baubles, and today I'm going to experiment with Glowforge's brand new premium feature, Magic Canvas. So Glowforge is jumping on the artificial intelligence wagon, and they have introduced a super cool new feature for premium users, which is the Magic Canvas. Um, basically, if you have it, it'll be next to the plus sign um, in your Glowforge dashboard. When you click on it, you'll be able to type in different words and phrases and get artificial uh, designs that you can use in your Glowforge. So today I'm drawing inspiration from this dragon on my desk. I'm going to type in dragon breathing fire, and then you have different uh, um, like artistic styles you can choose. At first I chose geometric and looking back I'm like that's kind of a dumb one to have chosen but we're just experimenting. So I didn't love that design so I decided to try uh, the super cute design instead and ran that and as soon as I saw it I just loved it. To me it looked like something out of like how to train your dragon or something that kind of style. I just loved it so I wanted to try engraving. So today I am engraving on 1 16th inch base wood. I just get this off of Amazon, I'll link it down below, but I am going to be using borax and the borax hack to get the best looking picture engraved that I can from this. So uh, basically what you want to do is mix uh, one part borax with 10 parts warm water. Uh, and in the past I've just eyeballed it, but for this I decided to actually like be fancy and measure. So I actually measured it out this time uh, just using like a teaspoon. So I have one, uh, or tablespoon. So I have one tablespoon of borax and then 10 tablespoons of warm water. And then just mix that up vigorously with like a little paintbrush and you can just paint it onto your wood, uh, making sure to get every little part. I think there are some spots that I missed or did not get enough on and you'll see how that turned out later. I waited for that piece of wood to dry. I made just a little uh, frame out of another piece of base wood for uh, my picture. Looking back, I probably didn't need to do this. I was trying to make it look cool and fancy. Uh, if you know me, you know that I'm always looking for ways to add color to my projects because while I love how engraved wood looks, I love color too, so I'm always trying to add a pop of color. So that's what the frame is for. Once the wood was dry, I was ready to print, so I input my settings. Um, and input my borax wood engrave settings which if you don't know and haven't watched my borax video please go watch that basically the borax means that you can use super low power and get amazing results i decided to try the very power uh, to see how that looked so uh, there were a few issues with the print i don't know if it was uh, the very power settings or if it was my borax mixture uh, wasn't mixed up enough or didn't get coverage enough on one part or something but anyway these are the settings that I used so 10 power and a thousand speed uh, it makes the prints go super fast and they look amazing and this one looks amazing too there's just some flaws with it but overall I'm really happy with how it turned out and it only took like 15 minutes to do which is not bad at all And here is the finished engrave. Overall, I am really pleased with how this turned out. The borax just really makes everything pop and you really get all those cool details of like the fire and the eyes and, and the dragon's like mouth and stuff. But obviously there are some flaws with it that are probably my fault. Um, I probably didn't mix the bora borax up enough or I didn't uh, get it applied evenly on that section of wood where I ended up printing the picture. But I am just gonna say that my dragon is in the desert in a sandstorm and that's what we're gonna say is up with this picture and why there's some flaws with it. She's in a sandstorm in the desert, so that's what happened. Next, I add a clear coat to my engraving. This helps ensure that the design doesn't smudge or get damaged in any way. That's uh, one of the downfalls about borax is it's easy to smudge the image. So as soon as it's done printing or soon after printing, make sure that you're uh, spraying it with a clear coat to help protect that beautiful engraving. 
So here's the finished product and overall I am so happy uh, with the Magic Canvas so far. It's fun that you can just type in any idea and start to get images and things that you can use or get ideas from um, and they are all just free to use because it's AI, it's created by a machine. And as the home laser market starts to become more saturated, I think that we can start to expect to see more cool features like this coming out from Glowforge as they try and keep and retain and get new users. And here she sits now on my desk. It is a girl dragon. I'm looking for name options. So if you have a name idea for my cute little fire breathing dragon made with the Glowforge magic canvas, please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about the Glowforge or about Magic Canvas, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. If you're thinking about purchasing a Glowforge, please consider using my referral link in the description box. This gives you money off of the Glowforge and it also gives me credits, which really help me and my small business. Thanks again for watching. I plan to start uploading more regularly again. And I've got some cool uh, content and some cool Glowforge and laser engraving ideas, so I hope that you'll consider subscribing because I would love to see you back for another video. Bye!